Today, we are going to drop cash at Kohl's. Last week, I was looking at my magic bow and it told me that you should go to Kohl's for a video. So um, I decided that it was a great idea to do so. Dropping cash at Kohl's. Like so much money. Like a lot of money was dropped. Dropping cash at Kohl's. Money, money, money. Kohl's, Kohl's, Kohl's. Yesterday I went to the ATM, got a buttload of money out, and went on my way to Kohl's. No, just joking. Not to break that narrative so only in the video, but there was no actual cash, but I just used a good old credit card. Because money isn't real anymore. I got to Kohl's, and the last time I was at this Kohl's was like a year and a half ago, so I had to do a little wave, let the little Kohl's know that Jacob is coming in. We haven't seen each other in a while, but hopefully we can still remain acquaintances. You know, hopefully when I text you, hey, what's up, you can still reply. I haven't been to Kohl's since middle school, I don't think. Not trying to brag. You haven't? Uh-uh. Obviously, since I'm a racehorse, I went to the good old party, squirted out some liquid, and then the first thing I noticed is that Kohl's has some... What was... What would you call us? Oh, Kohl's has some fake vape items. You know Bape, the one fashion street brand that has the shark? Like, they have those jackets that have the shark thing on it. I don't own one, but I think they're like $300. And Kohl's has some knockoff lunch pails for kids. I don't even like, know what Bape is. Oh, I'll show you. Like that thing. That mouth thing. Oh, I have so that. that is knockoff. Would you consider that knockoff? Oh. Um. Kind of, like they were definitely inspired. What I noticed with Kohl's is that they have everything. I didn't even know if this video was gonna work out because I thought they only had clothes, but it turns out they have everything. Anything that you could sell that's physically tangible, they sell it. Clothes, board games, random cooking things that you see on those TV commercials that last 20 minutes in the middle of the night. They advertise this product for 20 minutes and go so in depth. Oh yeah. They sell that, random knickknacks, they sell budding. They sell pouty things, they sell toys, board games, clothes, cooking stuff, shoes. You're just trying to make it seem like it's more about just repeating the same stuff. No, what else? You repeated cooking, clothing, and games twice. But they have everything. Like, okay. <laughs> Do they have food? No. No, that's not what I, No, they have like popcorn, probably. So it's basically just home goods in Michaels. Well, okay. Name something you want. Cause you a know, bowling ball? You want a bowling ball? Oh, they might not have that. But oh, so it's basically just Marshalls, basically. No, TJ Maxx. No, it's Butter. <laughs> why am I speaking of spit boy? <laughs> this is an ad for Kohl's, so I don't know why I'm hyping them up so much. You weren't with me yesterday, but I do want to talk about something scary. So there's the Kale. Yeah? Hamilton Inn has their own coffee maker. Yeah. Probably Wamo has their own coffee maker. But... Mr. Coffee. Is Mr. Coffee a real person? Slash... Who is Mr. Coffee? I don't know. I'm like for some scared. reason, what came to my mind was Mr. Clean. But there's Mr. Coffee now. I've heard of it. It makes me. Oh no, it, it, it makes me want to itch my skin. It's creepy. Yeah, because who is he and why don't they ever show his face? Yeah, because when I picture Mr. Coffee, I picture me going to this forest and this guy walks out. Who's married? And he's shaped like a coffee bean. And is that actually a person? Like, is this the new Bill Bigfoot? All I know is I'm now scared of Mr. Coffee. Thankfully, I found this clearance section so then I could actually stop dropping cash because when I first got there, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna spend eighty dollars on this ale file. That just isn't. Oh, what that's I'm expensive. Do. And then what am I gonna do? Like, just test it for the video and then say like, okay, I'm gonna throw it in the trash now and waste like and kill the earth even more because I just threw away like all this metal. <laughs> you could have just kept it. But I wouldn't. This mug really made me smoke. It says not a peep till after my coffee. So usually it's like butt forced coffee, but it's taking it to the level of like, if we're like staying together one night in a hotel room and like you talk to me before I have coffee, like 
I might I kind of get that. You do? Yeah, do not talk to me until I've had my caffeine. Does this look satisfying to you? Because to me it kind of did. It Let looks satisfying but overwhelming. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't think that was satisfying. But now that you say it, I guess I could get where you're coming from. Overwhelming satisfaction. That really got me going when I was at close. It yeah. gave me a boost of energy. <laughs> Candles, 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 candles. Candles are very popular. That's a fun fact you might not have known. Lucas, I wanted to get this for you, but I didn't. It says, it? a little princess lives here. You know, you're a princess. In your own right. A little princess lives here. <laughs> it's true. A little princess does live here. Kohl's even has luggage. I forgot to mention that at the beginning of this video. Oh my god, what? But who buys it? I feel like, oh, no, I feel like a lot of people buy luggage from Kohl's. I feel like if I was ever gonna get luggage, I'd either go to Walmart, Target, or Amazon. I would never be like, oh, I'm gonna go to Kohl's. Like, I just wouldn't even think they had it. Same with cookware. I didn't know you could even buy cookware at Kohl's. But we need to normalize going to Kohl's. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to like, start like a cultural reset of like, you can go to Kohl's. Like, I don't know who thought you want a lot. I don't know why people don't think they're not allowed to, but you have a lot. The place that's more <laughs> Kohl's than Kohl's is Gordman's. Oh, oh I love Gordman's. Oh my gosh, if you guys have been there, you know what it is. That's pretty it's much like, just Kohl's. I don't think they have like cookware though. I think I've been thinking you were shopping at Gordman's this whole time. No, Kohl's. Maybe I've never even been to a Kohl's. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> you were sure have. When would I have ever gone though? Because our hometown oh, didn't have one. LA didn't have one. You lied that you haven't gone there since middle school. You could, you, they have an Amazon return thing. You didn't lie, you just forgot, but... That wasn't Kohl's, was it? That's TJ. Yeah. That's Kohl's? Kohl's has a return Amazon thing, the jig. Never mind, I had them there. Then I dropped the cash, spent the money, left Kohl's, and here I am the next day. And I do have a couple realizations. First of all, filming by yourself in public is kind of um, scary for some reason. I kept thinking that people were thinking I was filming them, but I wasn't filming you, if you're watching. I was trying to film for my video. No one cares. Second of all, the second realization I have is that the people that shop there is like a large variety of people. There was old couples, families with kids, single people. The only people I, I didn't see was middle schoolers, but everyone else was there. They were just like random college people? College girls. There wasn't any boys there, or guys or whatever. Oh, okay. Kohl's is very like versatile. Everyone's attracted to it. Yeah. I think the reason why I think Kohl's is like not a thing is because our little brother one time we went to Kohl's and he said he wanted to tell everyone in there like Michael Jackson isn't alive because he thought they were all stuck in like that era. <laughs> oh yeah. Just like, because like he hadn't heard of Kohl's. Stuff. He just hadn't heard of Kohl's. But I mean I think people, like you said, people still shop there. It's fine. But I think our little brother just convinced me that like it was just this olden days thing. I got a big bag from Kohl's. This is like huge. Oh, damn! I might have got too much stuff. I spent... You're gonna reveal the price? $48. 48,000. <laughs> 4,800. No, just $48. Oh, damn, this is a big bag. Your okay, community well. is our community. Oh. oh my gosh, that's nice. What if you're a part of like a really bad community? <laughs> like murderers. Full of present for you, kinda, because I know you love wine. I got you a Sipsy Wine Holder. Wait, so what would it be for? If you're sitting on the couch and there's a wow next to you and you don't have a cup holder, you can just stick it to the wow. Lather, rinse, sip, repeat. It's for the shower. You can start drinking oh, that's in the shower. Cute. I want to have a wine shower. That'd probably actually be fun. You waste so much water, but like, imagine just refilling a wine glass, but like being under hot water and like every now and then put like a layer of soap on. Probably be like soothing. Should we test it out? Sure. We're in the bathroom. Who's selling that test stuff on YouTube? Me? Oh yeah, this is like Lucas's channel. Yeah. <laughs> but it actually says not to use it for 24 hours. And also you aren't supposed to use glass cups. And we're, you wanna do both of that? Yeah, let's do it. All right. I think the craziest thing is, <laughs> already broke. No one uses this bathroom, right? No. So it just will be for like the ghost that I was on now. That's not funny putting it there cause like directly in the line of where the water will be. Okay, we have the cup on. Yeah, I'm kind of, uh, like, I think it does just, not work. Even just like touch it. Maybe that would work. You're supposed to wait 24 hours. Now we're gonna put the wine glass in and see if it stays. And then we're just oh, gonna let both of our hands go. Why isn't it going anywhere? <laughs> this 
this is the most, well, it only cost you like $30. Also, so I feel like it, it would work if you actually did it right. Ready, set, go! Yeah, if you did everything that I said, it might work. And plus, this glass is so heavy. Maybe I'm just being nice. You want it? You can keep it though. It's yours forever. Wait, yes. really? I can keep it? Yeah. It's a present. Thanks. What do we got next? Uh, we got a pun. Wait, that looks like a screwdriver. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's really funny. Oh, that is cool for like, you know, your mechanic friends. Your friends who are like, always mess around with tools, making stuff. Come on, you got it 90% off? Yeah, I got, yeah. Damn, it used to be $12, got it for $120. When I saw this at Kohl's, I was like, I mean, why is this a thing? But I still buy it, so I guess I I guess it's a thing because of people like me. I think it's just like a pen for the boys, you know? Pens are always kind of girly, but like this is like a pen like- You need a manly one. Yeah, it's a manly pen, which I like. I mean, I gotta say, this looks good. And you could put it in your tool shed and people would think it's an actual, um... Screwdriver. Yeah, a screwdriver. I like you have to see this up close to like actually get like, like, look at that design. They really did it. Yeah, I think you should give it to dad. He's always playing with tools. M maybe it would work as a screwdriver. That'd be cool if it actually did both. Oh, yeah, it doesn't do anything, but. Are you kidding? Wait, does it say on there explicitly, like, not a tool? Because, like, what if someone tried to sue them? This is for your favorite handy person. Like how they don't say handy man, because it, it could be anyone. I know you usually think of it's a guy. <laughs> I would go to Kohl's just for this. I do have to say, just from these two items, Kohl's seems like it would be a cute place to go if you need to get someone a gift. And they, you don't know what they would want. If you wanted to get a cheap gift at Kohl's, you just go to the clan section. And, oh yeah. But before you give it to them, I, you should tear off all this sale shit, so yeah. they don't think you actually got it for a dollar. Tear off the clearance item. <laughs> it's actually, you can tell it's been cl on clearance twice, so. <laughs> this is funny how many times it was on clearance. First of all, it went to 70% off, then it went to 80% off, and then it went to 90% off. What would they have done if you wouldn't have picked it up? 99% plus, 99% off or something. <laughs> like just free, basically. <laughs> so if you like something at Kohl's, you could wait a bit and might go even farther down. Or you might lose it, it's a risk. Now, oh, I got this. I don't even know, know what this is, but what? it's a celebrity face mat. Yeah. Oh, so it's like celebrities faces, but you have to guess who maybe? I think that's what it is. And it was 90% off, so it was a steal, so I had to get it. Do you think they have to use like similar looking faces? They couldn't just use the actual face without the permission, right? Maybe, maybe you can because Google. I'm excited, this might be my new favorite game. Cute thing to have on your coffee table. But how do you know who it is? Because it doesn't say. I think you just have to like, hopefully someone knows, you know? Okay. Who, who am I? That one I seriously don't recognize. I have no idea who that is. Demi Lovato? Even this one's like, sis. Who is that? Billy Ray Cyrus. No, that could be anyone. That could be Seth Rogen. There turn needs it, to be a key. But turn it around. You know who this is, right? Boo, you know. Oh, Oprah. Yeah. Wh who's this guy again? I don't know his name, but I've seen Oh, him. Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Like this though? Like, I think I might know who it is. Uh, I'm not sure. I was thinking The Rock. Um, his teeth are really, um. Like, who the hell is this? Wendy Cosgo. <gasps> oh, that is Milgaro! Yeah, yeah, that's who I thought it was. Wait, who am I right now? I don't know who this is. Miley Cyrus, probably. Oh, yeah, that's true. Who Kim Kardashian! I? Yeah, Kim Kardashian West. I'm having so much fun. Wait, this is funny, who's this? I don't even know who it is. is it? I have no idea who that is. This hurt my nose, did they hurt yours? Yeah. Oh, this is, um, the, the queen. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Like, is this Post Malone, I'm guessing? This is- Oh, do you know who that is? Um, Modern and Post, even though I don't think it's all. Oh, I was gonna Taylor Swift. Oh, it is? I actually don't know. Maybe not. I would like this game if it had a key. So you would do this and then it needs 
to have the name on the back, but it doesn't. You guys want to know like how they were allowed to use these? Cause I know like if you go on like Getty Images and even if you buy an image, like you aren't allowed to use it for commercial use. So like, how are they doing? Maybe this? they went to the red carpet and took the photos just for this game. But I think even then you can't use someone's name and likeness for commercial use. Maybe like, there might be a legal. lawsuit. I think they just figured like no one would go after this game. Don't you bet? But but now I'm bringing it to the I Now that it's on the channel, it probably will be. <laughs> like, who is this? I, I like the facial hair, but who is that? JVN from Quail Eye? Oh, maybe. Oh, this one's so easy. Blake, I don't know, what's his name? A gem. <laughs> and it does very much hurt your nose a lot. But maybe it it's because I have a big nose. But it I do my nose feel too. like my nose is in pain now. We can both use that as an excuse to get nose jabs. My nose hurts. Oh yeah, I kind of want to do that for my channel. Get a nose like, job? Like use my channel for an excuse. <laughs> Might as well. It's part of my look. Get a nose job, why not? It's kind of fun. Now we have, oh, this thing. This is my next show until I am. It's a cool mist humidifier that you would put in your vehicle. Oh wait, no? Oh. Yeah, you, you can put it in there. Basically, it's a portable humidifier. That's kind of cute with it, essential oils. It was originally $35 and now it's $10. So, oh, damn. again, I got a steal. The clearance section is where you got a shop. Let's try this in the vehicle and see if um, we feel way more fresh while driving. Let's do it. Okay, so wait. Whoa. Okay, so it's this cute little cup, and then I'm pretty sure you plug it into the um, thing. Oh, yeah, like the, a USB into your car, if you have one of those. Do you have any essential oils to put in it? No, I don't have any essential oils, but we'll just do water flight now, because I know that water helps like close your pores and stuff. So while I'm driving, I can get a mini facial. That's true. Oh, yeah, so, okay. So I just need to fill this up with water. Oh, that was easy peasy. And then it has this little plug-in thing. Let's go to the let's go to the vehicle. It's meant to go in the cup holder, so we're gonna put it in my dirty cup holders. Don't just don't. Yeah. Well, okay. Now I'm just embarrassed because my whole entire car is dirty. I I clean it kinda, not really. So I have this USB thing, and um, you plug it into there, and now just the power button. And then it probably takes a while, I'm assuming, right? Like to get the waddle. Oh, you're yeah, condensation. Oh, it's already oh, going. Oh my gosh. Right now, it just is like purifying the air. But if you put some essential oils in it, like what if you got off work at like 9 o'clock? Put some lavender in here, but, but you might fall asleep on the way home. But you don't want to do that. But like you'd be tired for bedtime. I do have to say the stream is pretty weak. You can barely even see it on camera. Yeah, you can kind of. Yeah, in real life, it's like pouring it. though. It's still going. I would, I, um, I'm not gonna use it, but it's cool. I would never recommend it to a friend, because to me it just looks like a water bottle, and like, it just looks like nothing is coming out of me. Okay, we need to stop filming, because I'm sweating. I am sweating bow sack. Oh, this is the biggest item I got. And the most expensive. Oh, okay. The most cash was dropped in this. Bump and bounce body bump boards. Oh my god, oh. This is for people four to 12. Um, none of us are these uh, those ages, but I st I have hope that I'll be able to fit into one, even though I probably won't be able to. It says it's air cushioned for safe and silly fun. You can do whatever when you're in it, then. <laughs> do you not want to try it out? I'm actually down to it. Sounds fun, body bumping. That's okay. Kind of gross. <laughs> <laughs> adult supervision required. Good thing that we're both adults. Fashion trend. Oh yeah, Kanye. Yeah, like Vogue type shit. Now we just let's try it against each other. Ah! 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 I feel like my 
in a kid's show. <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm like gonna really get aggressive with these. Like punchy. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. Let me see. I'm scared. Alright. I'm scared. I just did it though. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, you need me actually to punch you. I did it. Just tries me, I don't care. <laughs> so we just got so funny punching something. <laughs> I don't feel anything, so it's too protected. Is it fun? No. You can just roll. Yeah. It would be cool if it was like full size though. Oh, like, yeah. Like, all the way to my face. For kids, like, this would be great. For twenty dollars, I think it's even great for like people our size. This is the best item so far. Like I. Love it to the moon and back. <laughs> wow. Now, wait, how many? Oh, I still have two more items. Oh, dang, it's not over. I know, show and tell is gonna last. Oh, I got this. I, I don't even know how it works, but it's a woofy thing, so you attach it to your phone, so then you can take photos with your dog. So basically oh. the whole objective is putting it on your phone and then putting a dog treat on it, so then you can take a photo with your dog. That's so smart, and then they'll be looking. Yeah. That is a good ass idea. Do you want to try it out with Luna? Yeah. Okay, so we can do it before to see if she even needs it. Okay. <laughs> and now an after. Okay, put some ham in there for dogs. <laughs> this might be a mastermind of a um, product. See, see? Okay. Oh, it's covering up my camera. Oh, move it to the side. <laughs> Yeah, she, da, da, she's da. not looking. Wait. Alright, uh, I guess it. Yeah. Uh, Luna's already so photogenic. Like, yeah, she, she already. already looked, she she's already a knows. cam. She's an actress. She knows how to do it already. Maybe if you had a dog that like hated the camera. Oh yeah, but Luna's already yeah like a model dog. <laughs> she's a show dog. Yeah. So yeah, um. You probably won't ever use it again, I'm assuming, right? No. But it's a cool idea. Thanks for it, though. But you're welcome. The last item I got from Kohl's was, I honestly forgot, show and tell me, so um, Oh, I thought this see. was like the grand finale. No, it's a, oh, it's a whole trivia. It's a trivia game of Twisted Tale. Okay. I wanted to get it because I don't know that much about, um, like, models and stuff. Is that horror movies or what? I, I I'm not sure. <laughs> Instructions for two or more players age 13 and up. 13 and up, so we make both those requirements. Oh, so those actual rules like answer them correctly or else you like, um, like you get a weapon or something. But what is gonna do the trivia? What was the name of Herschel Gordon Lewis's debut film? Uh, Scream. Living Venus. Oh, Miss okay, so so these are about movies because for some reason I thought it was gonna say, who's the ax model that killed 12 family members? Oh no, it's all about like if you're really uh, into horror films. What hangs above Tina's bud in A Night, A Nightmare on Elm Street? Oh, I've actually seen that yeah, movie. Yeah, I've seen it too, so you might know. What hangs above her bed? I don't even know, a lamp? Yeah, I mean, you would only know this if you're a true fan. I'm a crucifix. Let's do out of three who gets the most. All right, so, so far zero. Okay. What 1982 film directed by Wes Craven centers around a scientist who is transformed into a plant-based monstrous creature? What? I actually don't know, Godzilla? Swamp Thing. Oh, okay. Have you heard of that? No. Yeah, I haven't either. Stepman Kane Haddle is best known for his portrayal of what character? The Hookman. Jason Voorhees. Oh, okay. That was close. Wait, is Jason the guy that had scissors on his place or something? No, Jason's the guy with like, that weird mask. Oh, okay. So I already got one wrong previously. So I got one wrong. I got, I got all three wrong, right? Yeah, okay. Which franchise has the most sequels? Saw or Children of the Corn? Um, Saw. Nope, Children of the Corn. Wait, there's, mo there's multiple? I thought there was one. Yeah, I shouldn't even know that. What was Leatherface's weapon of choice? A machete. That's chainsaw. Oh. So we, we, we suck out horror trivia, basically. Yeah. I have seen a lot of horror movies, but I guess I don't know them that much. Yeah, I'm actually kind of a fan of horror movies, but only if 
Um, I'm not sleeping by myself because I'd be too scared that someone's oh, yeah. hiding under my bed. You just have to accept that, like, for the next week, you'll, like, um, have, like, really big problems. I'm actually surprised there's even just, like, a whole trivia game just for horror movies, but go off polls. I would say that my $50 was well spent. I was hucking. I would spend $50 on just this. Ow. Does that actually hurt? No. Does that? Well, it's because like there's so much room before. Oh my yeah, chest. they really protect the kid. I would say it was a success. Would you say it's a success? Yeah, thanks for exposing me to all of this. No problem. Do you want to buy anything from me? No. Okay, I guess the drop cash was dropped, and now it's dropped forever. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Lucas. Subscribe to me. And um, goodbye, Zans. Bye.